Hi everyone, this is Ranger Stillman. Thank you very much for being with us today on uh, Portland Today. The lovely Kathy <laughs> and uh, Mackenzie are here with me. Oh, and, it and this is, this like is our Regis. new show. It might sound like Regis. I never did like Kelly Ripper. <laughs> People didn't know that she used to steal from my dressing room. <laughs> All the time. Who knew? Come out to camera <laughs> and we'll reveal this man behind the voice, the very funny Nelson, one of those guys who only needs one name because he was on Portland radio for 26 years. Yep. Radio listeners in the morning drove to work with you, yeah. got the kids off to school with you. Welcome. What a pleasure to have oh, you. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me. I've been really looking forward to this. I, it, it's just awesome. I'm thrilled to be here. And Nelson, we have something in common because I also do radio yes, in the mornings do. on 987 The Bull. I do Are you a guys country hiring? morning show. <laughs> So what's it with you guys all wanting to do TV? I'm sorry, you know, there's enough of us here. This so. was an accident. I, I'm not even really supposed to be here. So do you miss the mornings? Do you miss the grind? You know what's so funny? I'm still so stuck in that mode. I, like this morning, I was up at 2 o'clock. Yeah. I'm really so locked into that. into that waking up early. Well, I just what can't a radio stop. career you had, Nelson. There was the Bill Clinton impersonation that took you all the way to the hospital room yes. on the phone with Michael Jackson. Tell well, us that well, story. Thank you very much for bringing that up. I really appreciate <laughs> it. When Michael Jackson got burned during the Pepsi commercial, we heard what hospital he was at. So I called as the president to talk to him, just see how he's doing. And we got through. I talked to him in his hospital bed. <laughs> and what, were, what was your impression of Michael? Um, MJ? He was a very nice young man. But it was just so, so weird. There I was talking to him. It was on the news that night. It was on entertainment So what tonight. do you say when you get the king of pop on the phone? I told him that Chelsea loves his music very much. And I didn't want to say anything weird <laughs> that, you know, that might upset him. Because, I mean, the guy had been burned. Did but, you feel guilty at all? Like after the, um, the gig is a up? A little bit. But, I mean, like I said, when, when we did that type of thing, I did the same thing to Peter Jennings, uh, Andy Rooney, all kinds of people. I never did anything mean. We did pranks sometimes on just normal folk. Sure. <laughs> That were mean but no I never did anything like that well take us back how did this all get started it's so funny way back in the days of the Z100 morning zoo with Gary Bryan and uh, Lorna D Dano officer Tony I would just call them on the phone and do weird character voices and stuff like that a crazy old man or, <laughs> or a nice old woman from a local church but and you were a young kid with hair yeah. then I understand. yes I was <laughs> Yeah, there you are. <clears throat> there, you no, I was a lot younger there. That's why I was like 17. But I would call them when I heard them laugh, mission accomplished, I would hang up and that was it. And then one day they said, wait a second, who are you? Come on down, we'd like to meet you. Uh, Part-time job, then it turned into a job, then a career. Did you ever so. get busted? Because a lot of times, you know, radio is easier smoke and mirrors because no one can see you. Did you ever get outed? Uh, outed for, I don't you understand know, what they, you mean by like, outed. This isn't, this isn't a famous person he's saying oh, he is. Did um, anything blow up in your face? Peter Jennings one time, we did the same thing to him. I called him as President Clinton on his birthday, and we were talking, and he busted me but gave me a great compliment. He says, I think this is that guy from the Northwest that does Clinton. Mm -hmm. And I said, Peter, you are absolutely right. And, and it was just, it was great. <laughs> That's so, cool. so much fun over the years. Uh, you were sharing with me a sketchy bunny story. You had to get oh. into some costumes. Here's the Do photo. Do they have that picture? Okay. Somebody had the bright idea to have my old partner Terry and I go to the uh, Oregon Zoo and host the, the Easter egg hunt with kids. Children <laughs> is the key operative word. That's what they did to us. And we went out there and children were crying. Terrified. And running Look for their lives. Faces. And yeah. running to their moms. So finally they had to put us up on the stage where the kids couldn't <laughs> see us. And I remember I said to one of them, I said, look at that. I said, we walk out there and children are going to scream. No, no, no. You look adorable. It'll be fine. I went out there and I thought, the first child, he turned around and looked at me and turned red and crawled at his mother <laughs> you like were a done. squirrel. Traumatized for life, those kids. And I felt horrible. All these kids were crying and mothers were looking at us. And Yeah, well, as we uh, go down memory lane, you can't help but mention all the people you've had a chance to meet over the years. Yeah, uh, I got to interview Mick Jagger once from the Rolling Stones. And seriously, at one point, he's so tiny. You wouldn't believe how tiny he is. At one point, I was doing that mom on the hip thing, holding him. <laughs> You know, because he was just so tiny, but a very gracious, very kind. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, John Bon Jovi, Samuel L. Jackson got to play golf. Oh, with how him. cool is that? Yeah, and he I think is we have the a photo nicest, of, uh, you nicest on the guy in the Samuel world. Samuel L. Jackson. He's a good golfer. He is. Yeah, and that's at the uh, Fred Meyer Challenge. And then one of my favorite actors, uh, um, 
I'm hearing his voice right now. The deep, the, the, Sam, uh, Sam Elliott. Elliot. Yeah, Sam I got to meet Elliot. Sam Elliott. Oh, yeah. And all of the old Sackett movies and all of that. I just, I just love the guy. And I got to meet him one day, and it was just, it was really, really fun. And it turns out the Gold Rush guys are fans yeah. of yours. Um, uh, Todd, uh, the guy from Gold Rush on the Discovery Channel, I'm, I'm working at the station that I used to work at then called The Fish. The phone rings, and it's him. And he says, hey, man, it's me, Todd from Gold Rush. Listen to you every day. Can we come down and be on your show? And I said, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> come on down. So there's a picture of uh, Todd and Dave from Gold Rush. That's so cool. So, yeah. Lots of fun. It was fun. really fun. And he actually gave me a little piece of gold. It's not even worth like eight bucks. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, you're, that's finding, impressive. you're finding that's buckets it. of this stuff up there. You yeah. can give me a little piece of gold. And you do make time for hobbies. You're a big uh, like bike rider. Is it a chopper, a motorcycle? I, what do I call it? A hog? It's so funny that you say that. When I was a little kid, I thought being a biker was a job. You know, people would say, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a fireman, football player. I honestly <laughs> thought being a biker Looking was a job. There. When I was a little kid, I would tell people, I want to, I want to be a health angel. Because <laughs> I your loved. Mom was so proud. I'm oh, sure. she was. She was so proud. <laughs> and then as I got older, um, I had that chopper, and there I am heading out to the toy run at uh, uh, Shriners Hospital. Oh, you've done great work. Put so a big cool. bear there. And you still yeah. ride a lot? I still have my Harley. I had to sell the chopper because it doesn't have suspension in the back, and every time I rode it, I felt like I fought a donkey and lost. <laughs> oh, so I had to get rid of it, so I just have the Harley. But well, I you still know, prior ride. to you coming in, Nelson, I asked, what are you passionate about? And it was so sweet. You said rescue cats. Yeah. Love how many do you cats? have? I don't have any now. He needs oh. a we, new one. We rescued a cat. His name was, well, we named him Rumble. We got him from Paws in West Lynn. Loved him. Him and I were so close. He was my best cat buddy ever, and he died. And he passed. Aw. And it just absolutely broke my heart. So I have, I have, there, oh, there he is. There There's he a is. picture of Rumble. He used to come and nap on Daddy all the time. Nap on Daddy's chest right there. Well,